Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. Uh, sincere apologies was not able to do a video for almost a month uh, due to some prior engagements of work. Uh, sincere apologies for that. So let's get started with the same pace. So I'll try to make sure I'll regularly video, do videos going forward. So the question today is how do I measure my command line interface exposure in GCP? So command line exposure is very, very important whether you are Trying to become a cloud architect, a network engineer, uh, data engineer. So the command line exposure is very, very important. Uh, I have many times emphasized this, and I've also posted few videos in my channel. So I'll try to put those in the description. You can look into it. Today we'll see how do we measure it because measurement is something very important, right? Uh, I can say that I'm uh, intermediate. I have an intermediate skill set in Linux command. Uh, will I be? Will it be ex helpful in the? exam or will it be helpful when i become a real cloud architect so measurement is always a good uh, thing so instead of me saying how much you are proficient how much uh, uh, more we have to do it so let's look for a measurement so that's what we are going to do today so let's get started so uh, for people who wanted to become a cloud architect uh, the official material itself so if you just go to this link cloud.google.com slash certification slash guide slash professional cloud architect uh, they have a complete details what are the content which will come which you need to uh, prepare for the exam and if you look into this one of the things which shows is basically you need to have exposure on command line is what it indicates this one so it has to be you have to go have good exposure on gcloud command gs util which is for interacting with google cloud storage bq command for interacting with bigquery so gcloud is very very important so either having exposure uh, try these commands either on your local system by installing a cloud sdk or cloud shell either one of them is good enough because both are going to be like you're going to use these command lines at the end of the day so this is very very important i i guess uh, uh, last year i also had posted this in the month of august 2019 what is the importance of this because there was many questions which i used to get even till date i get such questions so i come from an infrastructure background i i don't have any linux skill set how do i do it uh, will i have to prepare for it yes definitely you have to prepare for it because the official material itself tells that now once you get that this is something definitely going to be there in the exam at least one or two questions who knows a question could be on bq a question could be on g cloud who knows if it comes having an exposure is very very important now uh, you understand that it is important you start you must start using uh, uh, the command line and start using it uh, either via installing it on your cloud on your laptop via cloud sdk or cloud shell and people who watch my videos uh, will know the passion which I have towards Cloud Shell. So if you ask me which to prefer, I would say Cloud Shell. So launch your Cloud Shell and try to do as much as interactive demos in the command line is what I would say. Now, what's the advantage which you get with Cloud Shell? There are lots of advantages. So if you want to know the details, please search uh, Cloud Shell in my YouTube channel. You'll get lots of uh, videos where some unique features of Cloud Shell has been uh, discussed. Uh, as we have seen uh, in our journey itself now today we are going to see one more valuable feature about cloud shell what is that that measurement factor so to know the measurement factor how much i have used cloud shell just launch your cloud shell um, once it launches right there's an option there so let's wait for the cloud shell to launch uh, and i would say after seeing this feature definitely you will become a great fan of uh, cloud shell the reason is it gives you that measurement factor so simple just click on this three dots and you'll be able to see something called as usage quota the moment you click on that usage quota what it indicates is and there's a 50 hours like how do we do billing in our organization 40 hours 48 hours something like that so there's a per week kind of a quota weekly quota which or usage limit where it shows i have used only five hours in the entire week cloud sdk or cloud shell so which is not enough at least uh, at least like 20 hours if i spend a day as uh, spend the entire week my exposure is good so if you ask me i need to spend more time is what it indicates basically and this is a quota which resets at a specific time so it's a weekly quota 
So this number gives you whether you are really preparing whether you are really spending good amount of time on cloud shell. So at least 10 hours is a good number is what I would say. So you are the judge. Now you have a measurement factor. Make sure every week you hit on this quota uh, quota usage and you'll come to know whether what how much you have spent time. So uh, does not matter whether you're preparing for the exam or you are already a cloud architect uh, a network engineer a data engineer just give a, a check how much you are doing because every day when you are working on cloud shell or um, on the command line your exposure definitely increases ui definitely it is going to help you uh, in one or the other way but command line will come for a long run so having the exposure on the command line is very very important just look at this usage so at some point of time I had seen uh, my usage was almost like 15 hours. So this week was not much. So uh, it's okay. Seven hours is still I'm I would say like I'm very close to 10 hours is what I would say. So this is the video which I wanted to share folks like how do you do the measurement of your CLI exposure more the time you're spending. That's definitely you're going to learn few new commands in G cloud GS util and BQ. So there could be new uh, new specifiers also hyphen hyphen preemptive this could be a new specifier which would have learned to make a virtual machine preemptible so that is the main thing here so the measurement criteria is there just use the usage quota or you what was that just use your usage quota you should be able to get it let me know what's your usage quota in the comment section um, if you have done something like more than uh, 10 hours 15 hours awesome job Keep continuing and rock GCP. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.